Hey guys, welcome back to another All Things Nerd video and welcome back to another podcast. My name is Nathan and tonight I just want to talk about League of Legends. Um, one of the reasons why I want to talk about it is one of the big videos on the channel. I don't know if some of you have been visiting the channel. I've noticed that a lot of our views come from League of Legends. And it's been, you know, my game and a lot of millions of other people's favorite game over the past few years. But lately I've been noticing that Riot's been kind of dropping the ball lately on League. And uh, to be fair and honest with you, I haven't really touched League at very much in these past few years. And I kind of that's kind of what I want to talk about tonight. Uh, League, I started League years ago uh, when Zyra was released back in like Season 2. Uh, so I'm a big veteran of the game. But... I haven't been touching League, and one of the reasons I haven't been touching it is, one, is because um, I kind of got burnt out on it, and two, um, because of playing it for so long, and then two, um, it just hasn't really appealed to me that it had in the past, and I think a lot of players have also been really noticing that as well, right? So a lot of veteran players like myself uh, came from a league that was much different than we have today. You know, we didn't have as many champions. Um, we came from the older Summoner's Rift map. Uh, we came from a time where, um, you know, League was just starting to boom. So you kind of got that really good taste of League. We came from a time where Graves was an 80 carry and bought. And, you know, Zach still had his old Q. Um, you know, and when champions were released, you look forward to them. But I feel like now with League and the way the state of the game's been going... You don't really look forward to the game as much anymore. And maybe that's just for myself. Um, maybe that's not for everybody. I don't want to speak for everybody. You know, maybe people are still having fun with League. I still enjoy League from time to time. I'll jump on. I'll play a ranked game. And then I <laughs> I always remember why I actually quit. Because um, not only did I don't really enjoy it as much anymore, but because of the community, of course, you know. I'm really surprised I uh, have played for League for so long because... My character and who I am as a person is not the league community and the way I reflect myself. So um, <laughs> I'm really shocked that I stuck with the game for so long and it was so addicting. Um, but anyways, I want to talk about some of the main topics tonight. And some of the things that really have stuck to me or stuck out to me, um, as I've, I've noticed that Riot hasn't done um, a lot of cool events lately. Such as, you know, Odyssey, Butcher's Bridge, Black Hole, Doombots, and instead, um, you know, they continue to crap out a lot of these theme battle passes every two months. And so people will buy their, you know, prestige skins, right? And I know they said that players don't play enough to warrant, you know, um, the dev developer's time, but how about coming up with something new, right? Like, Riot, I feel like um, they don't come up with anything different and fresh anymore. They've kind of gotten this uh, bandwagon of just coming out with battle passes. Um, they just released champion skins, and that's really about it. You know, we haven't seen an event for a long time. This past video they just released has really uproared the community, and it was kind of a joke. And so you got to wonder, like, what is Riot thinking? What are they doing? You know, what happened to the love they used to have for their game and the game that's made them big, right? You would think they would have a lot more respect for their game. But I feel as if, you know, eventually every giant has to fall, right? And when I haven't been touching League as much as I have, it's a lot of the, because of the main topics I talked about earlier, but uh, it's just it's just really sad not playing the game. You know, I, I, I really enjoyed it. I got really good at it. I climbed to Diamond 3 back in Season 4. Um, you know, I, I stayed up real late playing it when I was a lot younger. And then I kind of jumped on and the game's just changed so much. So it's kind of gotten to a point where, but I've also noticed they don't really put the time into it as they used to. And I think it also has to do with because of, you know, other games, right? They have their card game. They're working on a fighting game right now. Uh, they are working on an MMO, which I am excited for. I'll be honest with you. I'm excited to see if it's finally going to be the WoW killer, right? We'll see. If I think if anybody's going to be able to kill World of Warcraft, it's going to be Riot, right? But we've also said that in the past, right? We said that with Guild Wars, and we said that with Wildstar, and we said that with so many other MMOs that came out, and like, this is the one that's going to kill World of Warcraft. We'll see. If anybody's going to do it, like I said, I think Riot has the best shot now. I'm not suggesting that we need, you know, new gameplay modes. Riot has definitely shown um, people don't play the game. 
Um, and that being said, remember the remember the old events they used to have, like the Ioni versus uh, Ionia versus no- Noxus event, the Bilgewater event. You know what happened to the cool events, and you know why do we just get like a battle pass every two months to grind? Like what what happened? Like and the battle passes they're not that great. Like you get a cool unique skin at the end of them, and you know you pay like what twenty bucks or something like that, and they go by pretty quick. Like I've noticed if you're not a hardcore league player and you don't grind the game, you really don't get that much out of the battle pass. I think I bought the last one I bought was I don't remember it was a couple months ago. And I don't remember exactly what it had in it, but I think I played like a lot and I still didn't get very far in the battle pass. And I was like, wow, like you need to play a ton to get a lot of money out of these battle passes. So that's really sad. And you know, whatever happened to the lore stories, you know, we don't get like cool, you you know, lore stories anymore, right? Like where are the champion teasers? Uh, Remember Kindred's video, right? When that came out and um, also, and led up to the, and remember the cinematic that led up to Jin being released? Like, that was really cool. Like, when Jin was released, and you're like, oh, crap, who is this, like, mysterious a serial killer type champion coming out? You know, he's the Virtuoso. The Virtuso, I probably just butchered that word, but, you know, it's like you had these really cool champion teasers coming out, and then now it's like, you know, um, Cassante was pretty cool, right? Um, what's the other chick, uh, the one the, from The Void that just came out? Um, I can't think of her name up the top of my head. See, you can you can see I've I've been kind of out of league for a while, but um, yeah. And so you know we got a teaser video, and um, so it's just I don't know. Oh, Belvev, that's what her name was, right? So we got cool teaser videos from Belvev and Cassante, and so they were pretty cool. But if you also notice, they don't do holiday events anymore. They don't do uh, no more snow maps, uh, even though everyone wants it, right? Um, and they always make that excuse like, oh, well, you know, the map will break people's computers or, um, you know, we can't update it because it was on the old engine or on the old map, right? But it's like, come on, right? Like, you're just giving excuses now, you know? You could come up with some really cool stuff for your game, but you don't want to do that. And so, I don't know. My own thoughts with all of this have been really, um, it's just strange. And I think... Sadly to say, I think a lot of it has to do with leadership in the company. Um, I think a lot of the, you know, it always goes back to corporate, right? They're making these decisions where they want to please, uh, sadly, you know, they want to please money and, um, you know, um, all they want to do is just come out with more and more skins and just make more and more money. And I don't want to say they're running out of ideas because I don't think they are. I think Riot is one of the most talented companies there's ever been on the face of the earth. So if anybody's going to revamp their game, like, Riot, come on, snap into, you know, production. Like, let's go. Like, you guys are been awesome and so good with, you know, inventing, like, Valorant and all these cool new games that they're coming out with. And it's like, finally, they... So I don't know if they just have lost their first love with League of Legends. And that's kind of how I feel, right? They, they've kind of just gone down this road of, I don't know, they're just not shining like they used to. Um, another thing was, you know, the Ari ASU um, took about a year, right? That's sad. Like, And honestly, uh, it almost looked the same as the current Ari. Like, um, like, I understand Ari mains are saying that the tail physics are really nice, and sure, it looks good, right? But, like, you know, why can't you just do that with the snow map? Like, have people opt in or opt out. And so that's, I don't know, that's kind of strange. Um, there has been no update on Skarner. That's really strange, right? We haven't seen an update on Skarner. When they were announcing the champion reworks, we were getting updates on them all the time. And then now it's like they announced Skarner and we haven't seen anything. Not one thing on Skarner, like... I think they came out like a teaser or whatever for him. But where the heck, where's the champion rework? And why is it taking so long to get these champion reworks? Like, there's so many more people or champions that deserve reworks before Ari. Like, I get Ari's a popular, you know, Fox girl that came out and everybody went crazy for her, even on her release, I remember back in the day. But, I mean, there's so many champions that are still waiting in line to get updates and they put their resources into Ari. Like, what the heck, right? Um, another thing was the low effort skins, right? Um, I think quantity is being valued over quality, right? And I feel like they're just pumping out 
more and more and more skins every two weeks and that's that's sad you know because that that really just shows where their mind at uh where their mind is at and how they want to run league and that's kind of one of the reasons why i stopped coming back and playing is right hasn't really released anything that's kind of wowed me you know i wasn't a big fan of the rpg they just released um the rune king i thought it was going to be a lot bigger into it i don't really like turn-based mmos to begin with so that was another reason why i didn't get it um i did actually i did purchase it i played like a little bit of it and then after that i kind of just i think i refunded it on steam because i was like it's just not for me so it's really sad you know and I know that uh, LCS, you know, got took outside and they kind of butchered it, right? LCS hasn't been that great either lately. And so, you know, I just kind of wanted to talk about, um, you know, what's kind of going on with Riot. And it's just really sad to see them kind of going down the drain. I hope that Riot opens their eyes. I hope that they start to revamp themselves. I'm really hoping and praying that the League MMO is going to be really good. I'm, I'm having high hopes because it is Riot, because they do put quality in their work. And that's what I'm saying, right? Like, Riot is really good. They're a great gaming company, and they've done great things with League. But I think the problem is they've dumped all their resources into League, and they started to expand out to other projects now. And they're like, oh, crap, we've dumped all our projects into League. We don't have anything else to show, right? So we'll see. We'll see if these other games come out. They're going to be great. But uh, yeah, I want to hear your guys' co- your comments. And I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, please comment down below. Let me know what you think. Wh- what's going on with Riot Games. If you think that they're doing well. If you think they're doing bad. Um, you know, give me your opinion on League of Legends. You know, do you think it's in a good state right now? Do you think that Riot's just being a little stale because of, you know, we've been dealing with COVID and stuff these past few years? Uh, but that was, what, two or three years ago, like already. So, you know, what's the excuse now, right? So, anyways, yeah, I just wanted to podcast tonight on League of Legends, and I'll see you guys on the next video.